WJMN-TV, Marquette, Escanaba. This is Local 3 News at 11. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm James Fillmore. Two weeks in the tropics was anything but a vacation for one Marquette man. Brianna McLean has more about his mission to bring strength to the Bahamas. Brian Claus usually spends his days at Synergy Fitness as a personal trainer. He knows how to build people and find their strength. When Hurricane Dorian brought catastrophic damage to the northern Bahamas back in early September, he knew exactly what to do. Months later, reconstruction is still in full effect and could take years to rebuild. People like Brian Claus are volunteering their time to help Bahamians restore their island. It's, it's overwhelming to see that kind of devastation. The island that I was on, Abaco Island, 90% uh, of the structures were totally devastated. Um, all the vehicles had smashed out windows. It looked like a war zone, it really did. It looked like something you would see in a war movie that a bomb hit and wiped everything out. Brian volunteered with an organization called All Hands and Hearts Smart Response. His group rebuilt private schools in a process called mucking and gutting. They stripped down buildings to their frames to get rid of any mold and water damage. With 22 years of sports medicine experience, he also helped with medical assistance. While his mission was to rebuild the island and the people around him, what Brian experienced showed him what true strength really means. It gives you a true appreciation for what we have, mm -hmm. some of the things that we'll never see here, like people live through. Mm -hmm. So like those types of things were really emotional. As you can tell, I'm getting emotional. Um, and the, the other thing that I took away from it was that a small group of people dedicated to doing a task like that can make a huge difference. And I encourage, like, I would encourage everybody to do something like this if they can do it. Reporting in Marquette, Brianna McLean, Local 3 News. You can visit our website, upmatters.com, to find out how to donate to Brian's fundraiser for Hurricane Dorian Relief.